Today we're going to talk about how to set up your credit bank before you need it. Now, this is a very interesting thing and I want to make a statement before we begin. You do not need credit to start your business. Ideally, you would be better off starting your business with the credit or the capital or the cash you have on hand. However, I'm not Dave Ramsey and I understand that credit is a very important part of life. I am a big user of credit cards. I enjoy credit cards. I like the perks, I like the rewards. And I'm gonna say this as carefully as I can. When you start your business, you should not use credit. However, once you have your business set up once now let's go ahead and let me talk about this very strategically what does having your business set up mean let me go ahead and expand you have your business you have your llc you have your lein you have your business bank account you even have your business credit card now that's the preliminary stuff that's the scope that's the framework of your business now, once you get into business, and let's go ahead and give you some specifics. Let's say you've been in business six months to a year. And six months to a year, you've come to expect some usual norms. You know what your cash flow is, you know what your money is, and you've become comfortable with that. Now, hear me clearly. Credit is not a bad thing. Credit used judiciously in your business can expand your business. However, and I'm gonna be re repetitive and be redundant here, you should not start your business with credit you should start your business with activity. You should start your business by doing things. You should get it up and running, quote, get your business set up. To give you a plain situation, getting your business set up is up, it's running, it's making money, you're managing it. That's getting your business set up. All right, so why am I telling you how to set up your credit bank before you need it? Good question. Credit should be earned and gained and built before you need it. Let me give you a scenario. Let's say you have a guy whose name is Bob and Bob has a company and Bob has used his personal credit cards to fund the company and Bob has a company that's making money, but Bob has reached a crunch point. Bob has used up all of his personal credit cards. Bob is in a situation where he needs more money for his business, but because Bob has used up all of his personal credit, his credit score is low, there's nowhere he can go and get money. Let's go ahead and say your name is Alex. And Alex, you found this channel, you like the content and you watch everything. And with that, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification button and make sure that you watch this video two or three times. Alex, you've been watching this channel and you, this video caught you at the right time. You don't hate your job, but you feel that there's more in life, there's more you can do, there's more you can build. And you're like, okay, I like this guy, I like his content, so I'm gonna start building my credit bank before I need it. Because here's the thing, building credit from a business standpoint, realistically, is gonna take you two to three years. So, if you start that process of building credit before you need it, you're gonna just be in a better situation. This here is my bank. Now, what does my bank consist of? My bank is all of my personal, mostly personal, there are a few business cards in there. I have a total of 13 business cards, but I have a lot of cards, right? So this is my bank, and my bank is my personal credit cards on my personal credit report. At the moment, I am not using any of my personal credit cards in a manner where it reflects adversely on my credit report. Now, what do I mean by adversely? My credit score kind of hangs out between 800 and 825. I don't do anything on my personal credit report to really radically move my credit score. At the moment, I am not carrying any balances on my personal credit, and I'm not carrying any balances on my business credit. Now, here's the thing. 
What you want to do is to go out and learn this habit. Number one, you want to get good credit cards, not the less than credit cards, not your first premieres, not your upgrade, not your credit cards for typically people with bad credit. You, you want to stay away from that. What you want to do is build up with American Express, Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and some other credit card issuers, Barclays, Discover. This is what you want to build up your bank. Your bank. This is my bank and you want to build up your bank. Now, essentially what you want to do, and like for me, credit is like a hobby. I like getting credit cards and that sometimes I have to stop and slow down, go to the garden phase because with too many inquiries, you can have a very good credit score and you can still get denied from some banks. At the moment, American Express doesn't seem to care about it, inquiries, but Chase cares, Bank of America cares, not doing, I'm not doing anything with Wells Fargo and PNC does care. So you gotta be careful with your number of inquiries. So I'm gonna give you the game plan step by step what you should do. Number one, go to Chase. You wanna max out your Chase cards first because Chase has this credit inquiry issue. If you get five credit cards in the last two years, you will not be eligible for any of Chase's personal credit cards, which is me at the moment. But incidentally, not once but twice, I've gotten in the mail indicators to apply for a Chase business credit card it blew my mind. So I don't know if I'm gonna do it because at the moment I'm not applying for anything and I'm just, I would be out of 524 the first half of 2024. So not really going to apply for any personal credit cards. I will be applying for more business credit cards. So once again, let me go ahead and first step, you go to Chase and you go for two credit cards, two credit cards. And what you wanna do is get these credit cards and whatever Chase's limit is, because typically you can get a credit limit increase with most banks at the six month mark. And it may go up, but essentially get these credit cards. And this is very important. You will use these credit cards to activate your bonus, whatever spend that you need to do. And once you do this, you would pay off these credit cards and then at the six month mark, you would act for a credit limit increase. Here's the game, and I'm gonna give it to you in short detail. What you wanna do is to have a personal credit report. My bank, I've got 50 something credit cards, I think, I haven't counted. But for you, that might be way too many. So let's go ahead and give you a number. You wanna have a bank of 15 to 25 top rated credit cards that you're not using. This is a very important part of this. You wanna build your bank of credit that you're not using. At the moment, there's not a balance on any of my personal credit cards. And I can tell you something, there will not be a balance on my personal credit cards. You wanna know why? Let me show you why. Let me just go into this because personally carry seven credit cards one personal and the rest are business why can i sit here and tell you that there will not be a balance on any of my personal credit cards number one i have these business credit cards that i use where i will not have any ongoing debt on my personal cards. And one of the things that you need to understand, and this is the power of business credit, is you can go ahead, get yourself set up where you can get a lot of business credit, which will actually activate a lot of your personal spend. And I'm going to talk about that. Because essentially what you can do, that one showed up, and what you can do is get your business credit to the point where you can have, because I currently at the moment have 13 business credit cards. 
and I have lines of credit. So what you can do is go ahead and get your business credit cards and use them in a manner where they will act like personal credit cards. Now, this is a question that I'm gonna get in the comments, so I'm gonna answer it. Glenda, you're going out here, you're getting these business credit cards and you're using them for personal expenses. Is that going to raise some kind of flag? Is that going to get you in trouble? And the answer is absolutely not. I have been using business credit cards for years for personal expenses. And guess what? As long as the statement comes and I pay that credit card off, they don't care. They don't care. There is no governing body that's watching your credit card use. This card right here, the American Express Platinum, which I'm trying to get to focus. I bought this watch right here with that credit card. And when the bill came, I paid it. And American Express has not said nothing. So for all of you people out there worried about, hey, if I go ahead and get these business credit cards and I use them for personal expenses, who's coming after me? And the question is, no! Like once again, because we live in a climate, we live in a world where there are so many things that you could do. There are so many businesses like YouTube. You can have a YouTube channel and that can be a business. And you can use your YouTube channel to take trips, buy cameras, buy pay staff, so many expenses that you could be using your business credit card. That one right there, trying to get it to focus. Let's, there we go. You could be using your business credit card to pay these expenses. <clears throat> and once again, if you're worried about getting caught or some secret government agency is going to come out and get you don't it's not going to happen so once you build up your bank and have 15 to 20 personal credit cards and you maintain and i'm going to give you some ranges many people there's a bunch of guys in the youtube space who are selling how to get business credit and they'll say hey you could do this with a 650 or a 680 credit score. I disagree with that. You need your credit score to be above 700, and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, once again, your bank, you have 15 to 20 personal credit cards, Visa, American Express, Discover, Chase, that are reflecting as a positive record on your personal credit report. Once you get those 15 to 20, and this is why developing business credit is something that's going to take two to three years because yes could you literally sit down every day and apply for credit cards yeah you could but here's the thing once you depending on what bank you're dealing with there are some banks that are inquiry sensitive there are some banks that are account sensitive there are some banks that just don't care but essentially to build up your credit once again you would apply for these credit cards every three to four months you would apply for, this is why i say apply for two or three at the same time. Then wait three or four months and do it again. Then wait three or four months and do it again. This is why it's, like I said, it's gonna take you two to three years to get where you want to go. But after you have built 15 to 20 personal credit cards, one of the things that you wanna do is to make sure that these credit cards have the highest limit that you can get. And this is why I say at six months, go ahead ask for a credit limit increase because here's the thing let's say your name is alex and you started a business and you can actually run this on one side of your life while you're running your business because typically depending on what kind of business you start most businesses do not unless you're going to start a construction company or some type of helicopter company these businesses a lot of businesses you can start with a nominal amount of money under five thousand so you're alex you started your business let's say alex you're doing web design and you're building websites for people right but over here on this personal side and this is where it gets to you have to have really good money management systems because over here on the personal side you're building your bank you're building your bank your personal credit is going to be your bank it's going to be the key to you building business credit so you're running your website building business and you're over here building your bank and let's say 
three years in. You've been running your website business for three years and now you've built your bank and now you want to go out and get massive business credit. Now, when I say massive business credit, hear me and hear me well. I'm going to come up with some training that you're going to get this month that will teach you that literally, if you know the right steps, you know the right steps to take, you know the right banks to approach, you can build 300,000 to 600,000 in business credit using business credit cards and lines of credit literally in 24 months. You can do that. It doesn't matter what your income is, doesn't matter. It just matters if you know the steps to take to build your business credit. And I'm going to put together some free training for you this month. It may be ready now because I'm doing this video in advance, but if it's ready, it's going to be in the first comment and it's going to be in the description box. And why am I giving this to you free? I did not start to excel in life and business until I got my money management systems under control. Once I got my money management systems under control with credit, making money, handling money, how I pay myself, that's when my life just took off because I don't know what it's like and I'm not bragging or boasting, but I don't know what it's like to wake up with no money in the bank. I don't know. I have not been through that experience in going on two decades. What got me there? First of all, starting a business, making more income, but I'm going to say this, even millionaires need budgets. Now why is this? And I'm going to explain it to you. Let's say you have a net worth of 5 million. You in the, at the moment, you have 5 million cash in the bank. Taxes have been paid and you have 5 million cash. Guess what? You still need a budget because if you just start going out and spending recklessly, you could go broke or you can buy a lot of stuff you don't need or you, it's just so many things that happen. And this is why every millionaire needs a budget because if you have a budget and you have a spending plan and you have an allocation plan, this will make you managing your money so much easier than you just getting money in. All right. So once you have built up your personal credit, it all starts with personal credit. And let's talk about this. You see a lot of videos, how to get business credit cards with no PG. There's literally a handful of credit cards you can get with your EIN and no PG. There's only a handful. And after you go through that handful, you got to come back to American Express. You got to come back to Chase. You got to come back to Wells Fargo. You got to come back to Bank of America. You got to come back to PNC. You got to come back to Fifth Third. Your personal credit must be good to set you up to allocate yourself for you to get business credit in the future. Once again, your personal credit is straight. You got your 15 to 21 personal credit cards, you've got $25,000 to $30,000 $30, limits on all of those cards. And why do you want to have those type of limits on your personal cards? Great question. When you start going out and getting business credit cards, the banks, especially banks you're doing business with, are going to look at your personal credit cards and they're going to look at your personal credit. And if your personal credit and personal credit history isn't that good with that bank, they're going to give you a low limit business credit card. $3,000, 5000 That's where you would be. That's why when I see all of these people on the YouTube space talking about how to get all this amazing business credit, how to get these 25 and 30 and 40 and $50,000 limits. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious because I know the only reason that I got very high limits with my business credit cards is because I had very high limits with my personal credit cards. And this is what I'm trying to tell you from experience. I'm not trying to tell you, I'm not trying to paint a pretty picture for you to come in and be completely obsessed and absorbed by. But once again, we're looking at two to three years and keeping your personal credit. And once again, we do not want to be using these credit cards. We do not want to be using them and we want to keep our credit limits extremely low and then, then start applying for business credit cards. Now, number one, I would start with Chase. And then from Chase, I would move to PNC. And from PNC, I would move to Fifth Third. And from Fifth Third, I would move to American Express. Now, here's one of the things that you can do that maybe you're unaware of. You could apply for three to five or even 10 business credit cards. Now, once again, 
you should wait six months after your last round of applications to begin this. And also make sure that you're not in that. If you've gotten five brand new accounts in the last two years, you will not be able to get any Chase business credit products. I'm not really sure about that. Cause like I said, I've gotten two mailers to apply for business credit with Chase and I am beyond the 524 and I bank with Chase, but I don't really know how that's gonna work out. But once again, start with Chase, go through those other banks and get the biggest business credit limits that you can because it's better to have way more credit than you need than to have situations where you don't have enough credit. And essentially what you wanna do, same thing that you did with your personal account, which is your bank, is you want to go ahead for the next two years and be applying for business credit products. You wanna start with the credit cards, and then if the bank has a no-doc business line of credit program, which is PNC, which is Wells Fargo, which is Truist up to 50,000, then go ahead and get those business lines of credit max them out and ideally you want to apply for a business credit card in the business line of credit on the same day so you only get one inquiry do not like do the business credit card on tuesday and then next week next wednesday no because you'll get two inquiries and once again we want to be very sensitive and calculated with our app the acquisition of inquiries because what i have found out is if you have really good credit, solid credit, high credit card limits, inquiries don't really matter that much. I've seen a lot of people just go ahead, get this business credit card and wipe off the inquiry. I don't really know how that works because I haven't done it, but I'm suspicious, all right? I'm a little suspicious because one of the things that you have to understand, I don't know if the credit bureau communicates with the furniture, I don't know. But I do know that I have never gotten an inquiry off for an open account, whether it's a personal account or a business account. And if you take these steps and you do it in a calculated manner, the inquiries are just not gonna matter. They're just, because I have, last time I looked, at the current, I've got 42 inquiries on my credit reports. I don't know which ones, but when I pull up my mass credit, I've got 42 inquiries. 42 inquiries that are showing on my credit reports. And I haven't, I've only been turned down for one business credit card because of those number of inquiries and because I haven't invested any money in that bank. If you do this calculated and you do it in a certain manner, you can go ahead and have a lot of credit on your personal credit report and an even larger amount of credit on your business credit reports that will literally blow your mind. So I want you to subscribe, watch this video two or three times, and more than likely, by the time this video come out, the free training will be available. And the free training is gonna teach you how to manage your money, how to get business credit, how to have the right mindset to participate in this world and make it. My name is Glennon Cameron. I'm here today, I'll be here tomorrow. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next one.